Might not look it, but there's a board table sitting right here. It is upcoming. Keep watching. All right, so now I'm working on the big board table. This is one of four slabs that I'm going to need to make this happen. Um, and what I'm going to do first is I have to remove all the bark from the live edge. It is a horrible idea to apply epoxy with the, with the bark on there because the bark will not stay connected and that table will fall apart. So the first thing you got to do is get the bark off and not only just break it off, you have to sand, you have to sand down, get all the fibers off too because you, you really want a good mechanical bond from the epoxy to the slab. So now I use a flap sander that's designed for metal work but works very good on an angle grinder to take off the, the excess fibers and smooth off the, uh, the live edge. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to test fit the logos in the river where I want them. So what I'm doing is I'm going to have it so that they are uh, visible from reading in one direction on one side and the other direction on the other side. Really happy with that. What I think I'm going to do in some of these extra spaces, I'm going to see if I can find some other wood to help fill that space and uh, give it some more visual detail. All right, so I've got some filler pieces made up. I'm going to try to fill them, see how they look in uh, some of these areas that are bigger open areas.
Alright, so I'm going to clamp them down. And then I'm going to vacuum out the river, make sure it's clean. I've already put down my um, mold release. ready to pour. At least the first little teeny bit. I want it just enough to hold the islands in place and the sign. And I'm just going to use tabletop epoxy because it's going to be very, very thin. Alright, it's time to mix up tabletop epoxy. I'm only going to pour this first layer very, very thin. So tabletop epoxy will be fine. Okay, so the tabletop epoxy I put on that very bottom, no more than about an eighth of an inch thick, just to hold everything in place. It has set up, um, and now it's time to pour in the bottom coat of deep pour that I wanted with the color in it. So I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to mix up three gallons or divide it to a gallon and a half per side, and then I will pour it in and see what we got. It's actually looking pretty good. We knock down some of these bubbles and I will stay checking on it from time to time.
settle for a little while more and I'll come back and hit it with the torch again. Alright, that will come out. It looks like it's cleared up pretty darn good. I'm going to hit it one last time. Just to be sure. Yeah, it'd be a nice clear view of the metallic black underneath. That's nice. I'm pretty happy with this so far. So hopefully, let's see, a day and a half, that uh, means tomorrow evening, I should be able to pour the next uh, three gallons per side. Okay, I've got what I hope is the last of uh, the pours uh, that I'm about to do. I'm going to add three gallons of clear to the tops of each of the rivers.
So given the limitations of the material that I had to use for this project, I could only use six foot slabs uh, for the foot, 12 foot table. And uh, not to mention the fact that a, a full 12 foot length would have been very problematic to get up into the suite where it's going, being it's up on the second floor and the elevators aren't big enough for a full 12 foot tabletop. So we're, this has got to come apart. And um, one of the things we've done, uh, so no, instead of just joining the river straight on the two, the two individual tops, I put a divider piece in the middle, kind of break it up. And uh, in order to join all three sections together, we've made this metal plate. It's a quarter inch uh, bar steel that uh, I'm going to recess into this now. So I got my router ready to go. I've scored my, uh, my lines that are the outline of the plate itself. And uh, I'm going to uh, route it now. So I'm out to sanding the epoxy. I put a first coat of finish on the wood to protect it while I'm working the, uh, the epoxy with wet dry sandpaper. I'm about to get to 1500 grit. I'm going to go through 7000 and then I'm going to go on with the polishing compounds. Um, so we'll see how this comes out. So it's time to get these ready for delivery.
Here's my tables, cafe tables. And here's the small meeting table installed. There it is. Here's my chaos space installed at UNC Rex Healthcare Holly Springs. <laughs> 